everybody. Welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. My name is Smox with Celebrant Quest. Um, and we are back um, for the Let's Play. And we have uh, gotten pretty, I think, a pretty good start to the game. So we've got our little shelter here. Uh, we've got storage section, place for beds as well, just here. Got our lovely table for eating, and hopefully that's undercover now. I'm not quite sure, but it looks like it might be. Um, I did place this shelter down. I, I just don't know if it's going to be constructed, because it might be um, in the road of... I don't know, just... I'm not sure if this is quite... What am I trying to say? I'm not sure if this orientation of this building is correct. Because I don't know if that's going to just cut off this section here. I hope that wall opens, but I don't know. Um, we also have our farms here. Dandelion tree field that will provide us uh, some food and some tea ingredients. We've got our palm field here, but I am not going to plant that yet. And our heptagonia field, which will give us some... Um, some veggies as well that we can um, that we can cook. So, what have we got? Insufficient fuel. Okay, we've discovered purple leaf. So, as I examined the towering big palm, I couldn't help but be captivated by its wide, sturdy purple leaves. It didn't take long for me to realize that these leaves were ideal for building shelter. Their thickness and sturdiness making them the perfect building material. While the trunk isn't great for building structures, it could be broken down into sticks, ideal for kindling a fire to keep us warm on the chilly nights. I decided to give the magnificent plant a name that perfectly captures its nature, purple leaf. Okay, so we can harvest the purple leaf and the sticks. We can also plant it. And we're now we've got purple leaf cloth technology for research. We've got our research uh, desk here and our uh, workbench here with no active task hmm we probably should change that uh, so let's make some bandages we're going to make them until we have I think we should have 10 of those and do I want synthetic textile um, I guess so. What's the synthetic textile? I wonder if that's those purple plants. Maybe. Skin bark. Oh, oh, we've discovered it. From a distance, the twisted shapes of the big purples, the purple plant resembled alien fossilized trees. Upon analyzing it further, I found that its bark was tough and felt almost like skin. I think that skin bark will be a fitting name for it. It should be possible to process it into a leather-like material. Okay, we could, it's veggie leather at the workbench. And we can do skin bark beds. Okay. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Oh god, now we've got glutch as well. Oh, these are these big um, animals. The big bloated insect is a slow and usually peaceful herbivore, which I named glutch. While not particularly dangerous, it secretes a corrosive substance which accumulates on its skin and is released as a toxin cloud when the creature shakes its body in fear. Engaging it from a safe distance seems like the best option. Okay. Okay, we... A new research, veggie armor. Okay. And purple leaf cloth. All right, so we need... I'm just going to pause... I need to work out how to make some weapons. Um, why is this not... Oh, I need sticks. Is that why? Why can't I make sticks? Hello? Sticks until we have 20. Nothing... Oh, okay. Maybe I need to cut down some more trees. Let's do that. There we go. I don't know. That might have been the problem might not have been also <laughs> so the research desk uh, so I've got this metal refinement happening but I don't know if that's actually 
If it's actually working. Research technologies. No. Alright, is anyone... Oh, I know. Maybe... Oh, no, you are researching. Look. Samantha's researching. Maybe she just had other things to do. What if I got in your activities research? Oh, research is number one for Samantha, but apart from observing, that's probably what she was doing. She was probably doing a lot of observing, actually. Um, oh, we've got new resources in bandages. That's good. Let's take out the synthetic textile and see if that changes what we're doing with it. Healing bombs, animal fats, slop. Ew. Mix slop from any raw food. I don't know. Um, happiness minus 12. I don't think we're going to do that. No, I don't particularly want to... Um, I don't particularly want to make slop. That just sounds disgusting to me. Uh, great. Okay, so we're getting some skin bark from these purple plants. Um, we may as well collect some of the sausage palm too. Because we can make like this kind of veggie meat, palm meat or something. Alright, we have three people unarmed. Who is armed? Oh, you won't do... He doesn't like to do um, any combat, I think. So, yeah, so Naras, we won't have doing any combat. So let's see if we can make any weapons. Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to research the weapons first. What have we got on farming food crops? We've got sausage palms. Um, we could grow some sausage palms, actually. Why don't we do that? I feel like we're just... The, the settlement is just growing, like, well... We're sprawling, that's what I should say. <laughs> we're sprawling, and I don't know if it's a good thing. Why is this square? Okay, so we need to start with a square that, like that. There we go. We'll try that. We've got new furniture. Oh, we can finally make beds. A wooden bed. I don't know if I want to use a synthetic textile just in case. We'll wait till we have the skin bark, I think. What else? Oh, a wedding arch. Oh, that is cute statue a glitch statue no I don't think we will if they really want they can use that um, what's this called a shooting target uh, let's do a small drying rack somewhere um, let's do it at the back of here there we go he's cooking which is great Layla reached physical five I don't have enough sticks. All right, hang on. I think I need to change um, Hugo's activities from cooking. Where's Hugo? Maybe, maybe do cooking too, Hugo. I think because you just seem to be doing nothing but, which I think is great. But I'm just a little worried that we, you know, we'll, we'll be missing out on other things. So I need. Um, store here first. Yes, let's store the weapons and the clothes in the wardrobe first. Got... Oh, what's that? A laser pike. Alright, let's just have a look at this laser pike for a second. Damage types are energy and piercing. It has a 2 meter range. Attack rate 2 to 3 seconds. Um... Okay, who wants... So what is it? Energy and piercing. Let's see, who would be happy with that? I don't know if... If they have, like, a preference to how they... Actually perform combat, apart from, like, having a skill in, like, say, shooting range or something. Uh, let's see. Um... Okay. I don't think he has a preference. Oh wait. Nope. He's fine. 
He's a zoo planet defender. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Alright, cool. What about Layla? Oh my gosh, Layla. She's currently her alter ego rather than... Wasn't it like Jayla or something? I can't remember now. <laughs> um, tone Deaf. Likes Fruitcake. Okay. Uh, Samantha. What about you, mate? Engineer. Um, okay. She can do... She's a five. Layla has a two. Yuga has a two. I'm going to give Samantha the... Where was that Lance? Laser Pike, sorry. How do I... Select a melee weapon? Oh, a melee weapon? Uh... Oh, there we go. There we are. Can she equip that? Does she... Maybe she has to go and actually get it. Um... Oh, there's a laser pistol. Let's put it on Hugo, because he's interested in... He's actually interested in fighting and combat. Alright, how are we looking? What's this on the ground? Oh, that's hay. What are you going to do, Layla? You're cutting these. Beautiful. Hugo, you're harvesting. What are you harvesting? Oh! The skin bark. Great. Okay. And the plants in this game actually have maturity levels. So um, if they're not 100% grown, you can't harvest their fruit. You can you can cut them down. But um, it's obviously best if you can like harvest from these guys the fruit that they have. And then you like cut the, say, the, um, the palms down instead. Look, there's a little lizard. Look at him. He's cute, a flying lizard. I want to pet him. Oh, Samantha, I don't know. Are you... I th oh, yeah, you are observing. That would be cool. If you could observe that and then we can pet those, that'd be great. So, um... I think everything's going pretty well. What are you crafting? Looks like some kind of bandage. That's cool. Are you crafting synthetic textiles or are you using synthetic textiles to make bandages? I might just take that off and see if we can do a different sort. Okay, so veggie leather. Let's make 10 of those. Oh, I've got two types of bandages. That's weird. Let's take that one off. And that one, and that one. I don't know why I've got so many. Oh, metal refinement has been researched. Great. Okay. So, we can now do... Yes, let's make a furnace and we can make um, some products. Actually, let's have a little think about our base. So, we've got everything stored here. Um, I don't think we can actually... Can we build here? I'm not sure. I still don't know why this isn't being built. I think because of the... We don't have enough stuff. I wonder if I can build more shelter on this side. And if this one is built before the other one, then I definitely know that there's something wrong with it. Oh, that opens that up like that. I didn't think it would do that. Mm. No, can I cancel? Yeah, I don't, I don't actually want that. I think, though, a new resource healing bum. Oh, did we not make that before? I think what I want to do, though, is see if I put this shelter here. Will that just make this shelter bigger? Let's just have a look. Is that going to catch on fire because the fire's there? Let's not, let's not do that one. All right, so you've got all of those resources there on the purple one. That's great. Oh, they're doing the shooting range. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, it does open up to a big one. That's great. 
What's about to run away? Food? Well, I mean... I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, to be honest. They need to eat more. How much food do we have? Oh, we have 70. Now we've got plenty. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, okay. So, what do I need to do? I need to research something. Palm oil? Emergency rations. Um, pickling. One can preserve vegetables by putting them into a large barrel of brine. Anaerobic fermentation takes care of the rest. Okay. Fine. Chemical cloth synthesis. Wooden fortifications. Electric grids. Sleeping training. Let's do sleeping training just so our guys are rested properly. And... Oh, that's right. I wanted to put a furnace, didn't I? Um, well, seeing as we've got some work stuff here, let's put the furnace here. God, we need more sticks. Oh, God, aggressive animals. Okay, where are they? Okay. Hopefully they won't come near us. That would be very good. I don't think I've got anyone going over that way. So we should be okay. Mm, I could just go and get them. Um, okay, let's up, up this because I think I want to do it. Let's do it so we've got a hundred sticks. Um, let's cut down these pines as well. I could try. When they wake up, we'll try and maybe go across and kill these animals just so we've got them done. How many are there though? There's 12. Um, oh no, look, they're eating those guys. Yes, maybe we should. Animal attack. What do you mean? They're not attacking us, are they? They're attacking those things. <laughs> oh well. Okay. We're sleeping, so... We're gonna wait and see what happens, I guess. Oh my god. Hang on. How many are there? <gasps> 25? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so we need... I don't think I can put a weapon on to Jayla. Nope. Alright. So, Hugo, come here. And Samantha, come here. Here we go. This is going to be interesting to say the least okay you both there all right look at these guys they're like no okay uh place your bets people how <laughs> how bad is this going to be all right samantha's just waiting here because she's like she's melee uh sam Start killing them, please. <gasps> Samantha's going to die, isn't she? What if I kite with Hugo? No, that doesn't work, does it? Hugo, why are you knifing them? Why aren't you using your gun? Is it because you're like... Hugo reached combat three, nice. So even though you've got a gun on you, you're just going to use whatever this little brandishing knife is. Daggers. Oh, Naras is fleeing. God, get get over yourself, Naras. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Come on. Get in there, Sam. That's right. Kill him, Sam. What are you doing just standing there? What are you shooting? Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't see that one. Is that it? Are they all dead now? All 
All right, I think they're all dead. So let's undraft. And we need to butcher all of those. Because that would be quite good. I wonder what we get raw insect meat. Okay, I was wondering if we got like some kind of chitin or something from them. So those two are awaiting treatment. Naris is awaiting treatment? What happened to you? Oh my god. Oh, who's that? Who are our doctors? Not schedule. I want the activities. Samantha. How do I know if they can... Wait, how do I know if they can self-heal? Um... Samantha, she's being the doctor. Naras, can you heal yourself, dude? Heal self, there we go. Let's just do that. And then once um, Samantha's finished, what's Jayla doing? Oh shit, Jayla! Oh man, I didn't realize that you were, um... Sorry, Jayla. Jayla, draft. Can you attack with your little knife? Do you have one? You do. There you go, mate. Undraft him because he's hurt. I love that she's just yelling, my skills are improving. That's awesome. Uh, you know what? Let's observe this one rather than butchering it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jayla. I was just letting you get um, completely eaten by that bug. <laughs> sorry, Jayla. All right, everybody's healing now, which is good. Let's speed this up. Oh god, look, they're really working on Hugo. Poor Hugo, what's wrong with him? Mate, he's got a, oh, got a blood infection, a superficial bite, times about seven or eight. Um, oh, Nars Naris has reached healing three, that's awesome. Okay. Gosh. Oh no, Samantha's healing herself. Sorry. I thought she was healing Hugo as well and I was going to say, oh god. Alright. Now Jayla's being attended, which is great. There we go. Stem the bleeding, etc. Alright. Well, that's good. Um... You know what? I'm thinking maybe I will just put Hugo on. No, 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 no. We'll leave it as a two priority and see if it. If I need to change it so I get much more food, then we're fine. What are you eating? Looks like you're eating. Is it the cooked rations? What are you making? Salve, probably. Balm, sorry, healing balm. Oh, look at them butchering them all up. That's good. We're getting some raw insect meat. That's good. I really want to um, observe these flying lizards because selfishly I want to tame them. <laughs> um. Well, this guy just hanging near our base. Too bad we can't tame him. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. 14 meals run it away. Um, Alright, well we must get better storage then. What if I moved the campfire? Let's try that. Let's just move the campfire. And I'll put another shelter piece next to this. And then maybe it'll be like sort of sealed off. Does that make sense? Kind of? 
Yeah, and then you have to go past the chairs and tables to enter the shelter. That makes a lot of sense, of course. Okay, we're still butchering those insects, which will be good. Well, that was exciting. That was very exciting. So look at our shelter. I think we're doing pretty well. So this mu the roof must come across here now. Um... Oh, there we go. I can see the I can see the roofs. There we go. There we go. Insufficient fuel. We'll make it. Um All right, so we're waiting for that Low food supply. Okay, I need Hugo to be cooking as priority number one again. I feel like the beds are in the way here. I'm. I think I will move them. Actually, you know what? Let's make. Let's make some lovely beds for them. Um. So what do I need? A wooden bed. They can make a stone bed or a metal bed. Let's make a wooden bed. And let's make it from wood and skin bark. I think that's best. So there's one, um, we may as well make four, right? Why would I have, oh, it's obstructed. So they need to have room either side got you. Um, you know what? That's fine to do. We can do that. Yeah. Illness, Layla. Layla, what do you got, dude? Where's Layla? Oh, it says none. Okay, she must have got something and then it disappeared. What does it say? Wine to Hugo about remaining stranded forever. Hey, dude, I, you've... I think what you're doing pretty well, man. Oh, you can have raw smoke leaf. Okay, so lots of things are rotting away. I wonder if that's because they're outside. Yeah. That'll be why. All the hay that hasn't been stored. So how can I fix that? Let's see. Can I move these storage bins? There we go. And I think we can still access the cupboard. What have we got in the cupboard? Nothing? That's weird because there's a helmet sitting right here. Can I move these storage bins to next to the bed? Let's have a look. Oh, I can! Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Um, move that one. And then the last one. There we go. And then when they get moved, what I want to do is just extend these these shelves across here. I think I think that's what I want to do. Okay, now we've got the beds. Let's get rid of these sleeping spots. I guess eventually we want to have Hugo is idling. Why are you idling, Hugo? What's happening? Um, maybe I can make another chopping block. And Hugo can maybe make some sticks, I think. What? Hugo is idling again? Oh my god. Um, Alright, what can we get Hugo to do? 
Does Hugo... Let me have a look. Not that one. Hugo. He doesn't craft. He doesn't tailor. He doesn't research. Let's get him to research. Why not? Or deliver. Let's get him to deliver stuff. That sounds like a pretty good thing. Alright, let's see if that makes any... Come on, Hugo, are you idling still? You are. Alright, hang on. Construct, heal, craft, tailor, assemble, observe. You know what? Let's put you on observe. And let's choose something to observe. We've done these, done those. Um, we could get you to hunt something. That's not a bad idea, actually. Where are those pigs? Don't know. Let's get, yeah, let's observe those plants. We'll observe the tall leafy plant and the blade grass. And then we also can do these lizards as well. <laughs> Just any of them will do. And we'll do that striped horned animal as well. Yes, I know there's rain. Alrighty. So we can make metal alloys. Mm -hmm. Let's do until there's 10. We need to move the hay into these boxes. I'm not sure why. Alright, storage shelves. Let's build some wooden storage shelves. There we go. They look like they're coming out of the wall more than these ones do. Hmm. Anyways. I have a feeling that they are... I've put them down the wrong way. I'm going to demolish these. Just because I, yeah, I have a feeling that they're facing the wrong way. Emergency ration. I'm going to say do forever for emergency rations, to be honest. Because if we find them, it's better if there's, um... If, if they're cooked rather than just not cooked. Uh, there we go. So we've got cooked emergency ration, tea and veggie soup. Let's do veggie soup first. Not enough resources. Um, what do we need? We need these... Oh, hang on. I don't think this, these meat things are veggies. So, in that case, let's just pause a sec. Are these veggies? Let's harvest those. And we'll see. They're 23% grown. Are you still observing these? I think you are. Low food supply. Alright, so instead of the veggies, can we make another... Oh, meat soup! Let's make meat soup. There you go. That's what we need. There we go. Do until you have ten. And I'm... 
I'm going to build more storage here. No, maybe it's the metal. Hmm. I don't know. To be honest, it looks like it looks like maybe because it's the metal shelter, it was like a little bit further back. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's just make that. So we've got a lot of storage. Oh, great. Now the helmet's going in. You know what? I think that's the case. For some reason, you could put it in there, but not take it out. A new... Ah, new resource. Meat soup. Great. We need some more of this. The skin bark. Okay, we've got our soup um, going now, so we should be okay. Those flying lizards are going to take forever to research. Uh, to observe, sorry. Oh, we've discovered a grain cob. Oh, excellent. A tall leafy cluster, a grain cob. You can cook it, you can press it into oil, you can distill it into sweet syrup or moonshine. Oh, <laughs> Hello! <laughs> or even antibiotics. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I wonder if we can ever get new colonists. Or survivors or whatever we're calling them. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we've discovered the Pencoth. It's a parrot-like lizard that feasts on animal carcasses. It's probably not worth spending the time and effort to hunt them. They don't seem very meaty and they fly away when approached, making them difficult targets. Alrighty, that's good. And then we also discovered the Shogu. So we can tame them. That's great. Uh, the animal is, is a carnivore and packs a punch should something decide to attack it. If not provoked, it is quite passive, at least towards humans. Hunting it may be a challenge. It will surely be rewarding. That's awesome. Okay, Hugo's reached level... Oh, blade grass. Oops, I didn't... Doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we've got grain cob. Let's plant some grain cob. There we go. What else? Non-edibles. Oh, we can make this, this skin bark. Okay, let's do skin bark up here. There we go. What else? Grasses. We can do the purple leaf. We can do the blade grass. Um, let's do some... Actually, no, let's not do some purple leaf. What have we got for leisure? Oh, more statues. Okay. So, have we got... No, we don't have these. this bed built yet, but we will soon, I have a feeling. We might need... Do we need some more wood? Yeah, we need more wood. What is that thing on the ground? Manure? Ooh. That could definitely be good. So. What now? I think honestly just more of the same. We keep cooking. You know, keep building the shelter. Um, I think the idea is... How do you... How do we make a door, though? Because I thought that the idea would be to make it so that they have their own shelter, but we don't have we don't have any doors on there, so it won't be that. I don't see how we don't get the disturbed sleep debuff. I could be wrong, unless in furniture we get a we get a door, you know, heating stove, a fireplace. Defense. A fence gate. Oh, we can build a fence. That's cool. A meat lure. Hmm. Um, I mean, we could build it. Oh, we've got lots of fence options. Poles need wood. A wooden fence. 
Okay. Um. We could just make a little wooden fence. I don't know. Maybe we could do that around our little sheltery bit here. Um. Let's try it. Why not? Let's try it. Um. Oh, I see. It just does it automatically. Oh, we can't go through that thing. Look, oh, beautiful. Look at this. Gorgeous. And then we'll go to here. Um, wait a second. We'll need... <laughs> we'll need... <laughs> We'll need a fence. I mean, a, a fence door. That's the one I'm looking for. A fence door? That's very strange. We need a gate. <laughs> fence door. Oh, maybe that's how you block off the shelter to, um, to, like, create a little room for them. I don't know. Well, what was the other defense? Oh, wait. A fence gate. Provides unrestricted access if kept open. People can pass through gate, close gates and lead animals through them. What? A fence door provides access through fences. Fence. What? I don't understand. All right, let's make a fence door. And whatever that means. Um, see how we go. And... Hmm. I discovered a buttermelon. Oh, sweet. It can be cooked. Okay, gorgeous. Oh, we've also discovered the manure. Nice. Uh, I conclude that it is a byproduct of common metabolic systems known on many worlds as manure. However, this one seems to be secreting small amounts of flammable liquid that can be collected. Okay. Can be used as fuel and as fertilizer. Well, I think to do that, we're going to have to have some animals, aren't we? I don't want to hunt. I want to cut that. Well, now can I collect the manure? Use. Survivors are for forbidden from to use or carry this item. All right, fine. That'll be obviously for later. It's cool that we got a little fence going. That's kind of cool. We're going to have to obviously, you know, extend the fence as we go oh they've all got sleeping that's good let's get rid of this last sleeping spot I wish I could get rid of this wall here copy what's this one reconstruct and deconstruct hmm okay How do I... Oh, do they just put the meat on the drying rack? Maybe they do? I don't know. I'm just going to let them do it. Oh, that's cool. Look, we've got a fence now. That's sweet. About to run away. Six meals. Well, I mean, I really can't do anything about that if they don't want to move them. I'm so confused. Why do they want to... Mm, anyways, I don't know. Um, Naris is idling. Okay. Naris. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. 
What can we make here? Or what can you make here? Make the metal alloy, please. What do we need? We need smelt metal scraps. Uh, do that like maybe ten times. Oh, I see. My bad. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's do that. Researching. Can I make another research bench? Desk? Don't see why I can't. Um, let's put that there. May as well get somebody else researching. So this is the gate. I'm guessing they're using the gate. Oh, you guys are both idling. Hmm. No, no. You're having fun <laughs> shooting at that. Oh, that's so funny. All right. So they can both do... Why don't we... I'm just going to make a couple more. Just in case there's people who are idling. And then... Screw it. Just research then, I guess. It makes sense to me. All right. Workbench. What else can we do? Bandages, animal fats, healing balms, slop fuel from manure. Well, we can't get that yet. The veggie leather we're already doing. God, I really need these plants to hurry up. We planted that. How long do they take to grow? They're 21% grown. What about you? 57%? 24 31 35 Okay. I just want some of this skin bark. There we go. No food supply. Oh my god. Alright. I wonder what happens if I hunt this Draka. Will they all try to get me? Or what about this big one? This big glutch? Let's try to hunt that. Hunters without ranged weapons. Oh, I see. Alright, who's our hunter? Nas. No, Samantha. Alright, let's give Samantha the gun. Or we'll take away the pistol. I want you to drop that, mate. Oh, okay. Look, maybe I can't. Hugo, can you hunt? I don't know. Let's see. Will she go and hunt? Wait, who's hauling? I need someone on hauling because everything is is just like there we go. Hopefully Sam will be better now. You know what? Instead of hunting that guy, let's just hunt this guy. He's right near our base. Let's do the buttermelons as well. And let's harvest those guys. Oh, there's a thunderstorm. I wonder what that means. Let's also harvest those ones. I want to see what happens when the hunters try to hunt this Draka. Whoa! Damaged wooden chair? 
Holy dooly. Do I need to build a lightning rod or whatever it's called? <laughs> Hugo has an illness? Nope, apparently he's okay now. Could make a torch, that would be cool. Find some lighting around here. Yeah, why don't we put them in the corners there? That looks nice. Very good. This poor guy's just researching out in the open. Oh no, aggressive animals. Oh no, okay. Take the hunt off. Where are they? Oh no! What are they? Oh no. Venomous overgrown insects? Oh dear. Um. Okay. Oh, now you don't have your weapon? Oh my god, honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's make her change to nothing. He's got the pike, she's got the gun now. I guess we'll animal attack. Okay, so maybe let's just wait here. Draft you, and we'll draft you. Let's go! Kill, kill, kill! <laughs> Get him! Oh no! Ooh, these ones are like... Giving us a bit of shtick. Look at them going around there. Let's take care of these ones first. That's it. Oh, look at that poisonous cloud. It looks like, anyway. Alright, let's undraft those guys. We'll observe one, we'll butcher the others. Do we have any um, salves? We might do. It's hard to tell. You can't see because they're not in the shelves. That's alright though. I'm going to move this campfire. It's a little too close to, <laughs> to, to the building. Mind you, it's going to be right next to that pole there. <laughs> alright. Gosh, that was exciting. We've had... Is that the second insect attack we've had? Naris has reached healing 8. Good boy. So I wonder, yeah, can we get any extra colonists or not, I wonder? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's almost max level of healing. What are you doing? You're recovering. Oh, where was Layla? Oh, she's doing stuff. That's good. Naris is crafting. Sam is recovering. So her feet and her legs. Low food supply, okay. I'm sorry, Draco, I'm gonna have to hunt you, I think.
Oh, explosive something. Oh, from those bugs. Right, unfortunately it's a more like an annoying... It's a lot more annoying than some tiny insects that scuttle through the fridge. Ew. <laughs> this one is big and impudent enough to t attack humans. The main problem is that these insects tend to swarm and work together in large groups. Okay. Well, that's great. Just butcher them now. What's this that's landed? Oh, a red feathered bird. That looks cute. Oh, she's hunting the Draka. Nice. Okay. That was the second one. Yeah, here it is. And she's hunting it. It's not fighting back at all. Is there anything in here that I haven't researched yet? I don't think so. Oh, she's... Oh, nice. Meat. Very good. Yeah, awesome. Well, we should be. Should be pretty ripe for food now, I guess. Um, where's science? No, no, no. Production. How are we going for our research? God, we're still on the sleep training, man. Oh, cool. We've got our meat on the drying rack. That's good. Awesome. Okay. You know what? I'm going to call it here for this episode. Episode 2 of the Let's Play of um, Stranded Alien Dawn. I am having such a great time with this game. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I really encourage you all to go out and buy this. It's it's great. Um, we've got plenty of farming going now. We've got a fence around our shelter, which is fantastic. Um, I think we're getting a pretty good supply of food, as long as we can keep it from rotting. Um, and we just need to sort of up our research game, I think. Um, and, I don't know, keep observing... And just, I guess, keep, well, oh, start to work out if we can get extra colonists, because that would be really good. Um, but thank you so much for watching the video. Um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I bring new, um, new gameplay videos every day. My name's Smox from Celebrant Quest. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.